Hey, hi guys. In this session, we are going to see one of the important interview question, Java interview question, that is find duplicate elements and its frequency and array in Java. And they can ask in multiple ways, like how do you count the occurrence of duplicate items in an array? And they can ask how to find out the duplicate numbers in Java. So they can ask in any ways, right? So they will provide you some numbers like this number could be any right and they will ask you to find out number of occurrence like i have found it out here uh the occurrence right as you can see here zero occurrence is one one occurrence is one two occurrence is two as you can see two is two times right one is here another one is here three occurrence is one five occurrence is three times you can see five one two and three right so likewise they will ask you to find out the number of occurrence. And this is the one of most important interview question when you are going to give interview for automation testing. So let's see. So I have created one class by the name of duplicate occurrence. Now I need to create main method. Now what else we need to do? So these numbers we can copy and we can store in one method. I'll store in list. List dot of. I'll explain you what is the use of this list of method, right? Let me add first here and then I'll explain you. I'll add the number, put the semicolon. Now we can create the reference variable. So see, uh, I have added here object. So these numbers you can consider as an object. If you want, you can type here in teaser as well. So both are correct. So you can either use object or you can write in teaser. So these numbers you can consider either object or you can, as it is a in teaser, you can put in teaser as well. So now we will see what is list dot of. You can see it is, it belongs to Java dot util dot list. So this list dot of is a method. It is a factory method which is introduced in Java nine that creates an immutable list containing the specified element. So immutability means you cannot increase or decrease the numbers. So you can use this method when you have fixed number where you are not going to add any other number or you are not going to remove any number, right? That will use for the immutability. So if you have any fixed number, in that case, you can use this method, which is introduced in Java 9. But inside this method, you cannot add any null values. So it does not allow null values or you can say null element, right? And size will be fixed. We have seen why we are using this, right? So now we are going to use hash set. Why we are going to use hash set? Let me tell you. In collection, we have this set, right? So whatever the text you can see in blue these are the interfaces and the text you can see in parrot color those are the classes so as you can see has set right so this set is uh, this set is an interface and this has set is a class right so this has set is used for the unique element it contains only unique element so what we need to do we need to find out the unique element so what we will do we will store these values in hash set so that we can get the unique element. So what we will do here, we'll create one object, hash set. Here again, we can type here in teaser. 
and here I'll type, I'll say unique element is equal to new asset. Now here we can pass the object. So object means these are the objects or you can say integer values. So these object we can store in asset. How we can store? Just copy this reference variable because these numbers, these objects are stored in this reference variable. So we can just copy and paste it here. It means all the objects are now in this has set right now it will give you only unique values now we can import this so i'm not getting an option to import directly now we can import manually import java dot util dot has set we have stored all the objects in has set now what else we can do we can traverse all the elements so how we can traverse we can use for each loop so i'll type here since i'm using integer so i'll use here integer and i'll type here duplicate the meaningful name you can give any right now i'll because I'm going to traverse these object, right? Which has stored in has set. And this going to return only unique elements. So I'll put here. Now we are going to print. How we can print? So first of all, I'll copy this duplicate and paste it here. Now, if they are asking to find out the occurrence, number of occurrence of each element, then how we can do? I'll add here one message, just meaningful message. And they are asking for occurrence. So we can type here occurrences, right? And then I'll use one method. So as you know, collections is a class. So I'll use here collections dot frequency method we have, which is available in collections class. So as you can see, while using this frequency method, two parameters got added, right? So now if you want to understand how, how frequency method works, so you can see, you can hover over on this frequency and you can see, read it out. So this is a method which belongs to collections class and the first parameter is collection and other parameter is object, right? So what is collection? You can read it out here, parameters, right? So C is a collection in which to determine the frequency of O and O the object whose frequency is to be determined, right? Or what all parameter we need to pass? So collection we need to pass. This is a collection here. It is already added. Now we need to pass this reference variable of this loop, right? We can add as an object because all objects are getting added here, right? So now what, what is the intention here? Intention here is how many times, how many times this object, this is an object, right? Which has stored in this list reference variable. So we can consider this is an object exist in collection this is a collection we can consider which has stored in this right so we are looping here so this we can take it here so you can consider how many times this object exists in this collection right so that it will return you duplicate occurrence duplicate occurrence or if it is a single occurrence then also it will return the number of occurrence. So 
this frequency is going to return number of occurrence of all these objects. So, this frequency method is going to return the occurrence of all these elements. Let me run it. See, you can see the number of occurrence. 0 occurs one time, 1 occurs one time, 2 occurs two times, 3 occurs one time. 3 is occurring one time only, 5 occurs 3 times, 1, 2, and 3, 6 occurs 2 times, 8 occurs 2 times, 0 occurs 1 time, right? So this 0, we can make it 1. Now we can run it. See, 0 has removed, now 1 occurs 2 times. So this is how you can find out the number of occurrence of any element, right? So this is quite easy, only two lines of code, right? You need to add. So whenever interviewer give any number and they will ask you number of occurrence or duplicate, then you can just add these numbers in this method. And then these numbers you can store in one hash set because hash set is going to return only unique element. And then for tra traversing each and every element, you can use for each loop for traverse the numbers or uh, elements you can say. And then you can just print. We are printing duplicate, this duplicate. So duplicate means it is going to return only unique element. And occurrence, this is just number message you can say. And this frequency we are using to get this number of occurrence. Thanks for watching this video.